I'm Beth Adams. I own an independent paper crafting business showcasing products from Stampin' Up. I sell the products I used on this little treat box and also a few items to make crafting more convenient. I'll have the free detailed directions for this project on my website and you'll see where to find that at the end of the video. So don't worry about taking notes. It's time to put stamps, ink, and paper together. I'm using tags, tags, tags and the coordinating trio of tags dies. I'll also be using the stylish scroll and the delightful tag topper punch. My ink is Call Me Clover Stampin' Pad and the dark blends and Real Red the dark Stampin' Blends. I have a five and a half inch square of Real Red and just literally a scrap of Whisper White. I'll be using just a tiny bit of this Real Red Curly Ribbon. I wasn't sure what to expect from the catalog description. It really looks like braided yarn to me, but it does look kind of curly. And I'll be using a couple of these Real Red um, Rhinestones. Oh, and a bit of the Whisper White Baker's Twine. I am using the new trimmer, which I love. I am scoring this at one and a fourth, two and a half, three and three fourths, and five. And then I'm going to turn and score at one and a fourth. And three and three fourths. I'm going to crease all of the score lines with my bone folder. And there is a side with squares and a, and a side with rectangles. On the side with squares, I'm going to trim the crease lines up to the first score line on both sides. I'm going to snip this part off. And I'm going to angle this snip just a little bit. And I have a diagram here that I think will explain what I'm doing. I am going to be trimming these down, two of them. And if you see writing on my paper, I just realized I've got an error in here because I want this one to be my front panel. So. I'm going to fold this accordion style and I'm going to put this into my punch and it's going to be thick so it will not fit in very well but it should fit in. I want to have it centered between these and I want to turn around and make sure it's all the way in which it was not. I thought I was going to have to press hard, but really I didn't. So I'm really just punching those two ends. This is that stylish scroll embossing folder. And I don't really want to emboss this end or this end. So I'm placing this in the folder with those two ends sticking out. and rolling it through. And 
and I just love this embossing folder. I'm placing adhesive on this side and I'm going to live dangerously and go ahead and place adhesive on section one, three, and four. Then I'm going to fold this and I'm going to kind of fold it in midair so that I'm not setting that down on the adhesive and just sealing this to form the box. I'm going to pull down the one opposite that I didn't put adhesive on and then these two sides and finally this one so that this will be the front of my box and the uh, crease will be in the back. I'm going to put the candy in. I used Justin's White Chocolate Peanut Butter Cups. They're organic. I bought mine at CVS Drugstore, but they are available on Amazon. And I formed this box just to fit perfectly. You can get three of them in the package. I liked the coloring of the package actually and I thought that might be Christmassy. So these I'm just going to fold over and I'll have this to close like that. Next I'm bringing the Big Shot back in. I'm really just using this one tag. This stamp set stamps three at a time and cuts three at a time, which is a really wonderful thing if you're making lots and lots of tags. Bringing in my thin die adapter and my cut up plate. I've already cut a piece with all three tags to use as a template on my stamp apparatus. And then, but I just want to make the one tag, so I'm going to just cut that one tag. This strip of paper is one and a half inches wide, and that saves on the cardstock. I am making these for a swap. That's why I wanted to use a template on the Stamparatus. And so I'm just going to place that there. And then I'm going to place my stamp right where I want it. And then just close this up. I have to tell you that I edited out the part where I stuck my head right over this stamp and looked carefully because this piece has some stitching right inside the stamped line so hopefully it'll be placed perfectly. Let's see how I did. This would be a good opportunity to use a, a uh, stampin spot but I don't have one for this color so let's see how I did. practically perfect. So I'll make eight more of those. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and color this one. So I'm just going to color in his shoes. If you don't have the Stampin' Blends, you could use the Stampin' Right markers. And then I'm coloring every other stripe, so really just two little tiny places on his socks. And a couple of rhinestones. Don't you love this Take Your Pick tool for putting on these rhinestones? I sure do. Okay, I'm going to run this ribbon through the hole. And this ribbon does... Um, fray, which I think looks lovely actually. I like that it frays. Um, it's hard to run through. I would normally use, I've got some dental floss loops and I can't find them right now, so I'm going to just use my baker's twine for the same purpose. And I'm just going to tie a knot around here. So, and I did use a square knot. And then finding my front, here's my front. I'm using probably about eight inches of the baker's twine. I'm 
folding it in half and I'm pushing this front to back and pulling the ends through and that makes a really nice end here and then I'm actually running it through left to right and right to left and then pulling it up to the top and then centering that and I am tying a bow here I'm just going to go ahead and fray this in too and that's it. Here is the web address for this project where you'll find the free detailed directions and links for the products I used. Just click the links and you'll be taken to my online store at Stampin' Up! Under shop I have tips for online shopping, frequent shopping rewards, and products I offer to help you stay organized. I offer a cardstock sampler, taggers to help you identify those dies with lots of similar shapes, heavy duty bags to store 12x12 12 12 and 6x6 6 paper, a replacement tip for the fine tip glue pen in case yours gets clogged, and a bow maker. Share my Evernote notebook of current products for a nominal contribution. It functions as a fully searchable catalog. Inspiration takes you to all my projects. If you're new to stamping, you might want to look at the basics. You'll find how to cut card bases and layers, what's special about Stampin' Up! stamps, and some of my favorite tools. Under organization, you'll find catalog tabs, labels and case inserts, a practically free stamp pad storage solution, a basic toolkit, as well as a compact desktop toolbox, and lots of color charts. You can take a tour of my craft wall, more organization means more time for crafting. Come stamp with me here in Ventura County, California, or get the best deal of all and join my team of crafters. The team is called SIP Together, and it stands for Stamps, Ink, and Paper Together. The team is made of crafters who want to save money on the products they buy, share with a few friends, or grow a business like mine. Be sure to subscribe to my website and on YouTube. I'd love to hear your comments. Thank you for joining me. Talk to you soon. Bye.